Mosh has a legacy here. We were chartered in 1941, and we've been in continual operation since then, serving this community, reaching out to the school systems, having visitors come from all over the area to spend time here. I think one of the things we love most about Mosh is the work that it does um, in introducing children to the world beyond them and gives them an experience that they are not able to see in the classroom. We do that every day here. Uh, with our educational programs, it's looking at what can our students not do in their classrooms right now that if they had X, Y, and Z, they could. And we try to provide that. I think as a mother of four, what I've enjoyed uh, most over the years is watching a child go through a museum. Not only do you hear laughter, but also audible gasp when they learn something new. And for a child, those early years of development are the most important of their life. And museums offer a place where those foundations of learning. I think that Mosh was an opportunity for somebody to learn about something that they, they couldn't really understand in a book or they couldn't really pick up. And, and that's what, what it was for me. I wanted to be there. I wanted to put my hands. I wanted to look at it. I wanted to hear it and feel it. Mosh has served our community for 83 years. And we all know and are connected to our past. The future means more people being able to access what we offer here. The future means being part of a resurgence of downtown Jacksonville. The future for us and for Jacksonville means having an iconic world-class museum that serves lifelong learners. We do a lot of what we do on contributions. So we need that kind of support and we definitely need that support to grow and continue to be active in the lives of you, your family, and your children as well. One of the most important things I say is you're not just supporting yourself in your own education, you're supporting the community. If you don't have cultural touchstones like MOSH, then you don't have a community. I think Winston Churchill said that without culture, you don't have civilization. And that's very true here. We are just as necessary as the hospital systems with the education we provide and the culture that we provide. Why should people in our community get involved in MOSH and support it? Why wouldn't we want to support it? Our town has grown exponentially. We have children and we want our town to continue to be the thriving area that it is. To do that, we have to continually learn and we have to bring our children up learning about science and engineering and math and the best way to do that outside the classroom is through organizations such as MOSH. We're a community-based organization. We only exist to serve you. And without your support, we're not going to be able to make this next step. It is absolutely fundamentally critical to have in the entire community engaged. That will result in a brand new museum on the North Bank. And we want to make sure that when we do that ribbon cutting, that we can say with full transparency, this is the community's museum.